Hi guys, welcome back to tonight's live stream, take two. I do apologize because what has happened? <laughs> I had a live stream all set up on the channel, scheduled, but I did it again and I actually end up putting it on as a private, uh, not private, but on, uh, on unlisted, private, as opposed to a public video. I did that when I was very first, like when I first started and apparently I did it again this time. So live and learn, Jess. <laughs> Anyways, welcome to tonight's live stream. It is Friday now, 9, 17 p.m., 9, 18 p.m. actually. And uh, we are here live tonight um, going through a personal haul. We're doing some try-ons. We're doing some skincare products. We are also doing some blue skies. What is that you ask? Well, that is the FMG Glimmer Liner in this shade called Blue Sky. You can kind of see it right there. There we go. Because I have been absolutely obsessed with this one here, which is called Sea Foam Green. Hello, whoever's just joining us tonight. Leave a hi, leave a hey. Let us know where you're watching from. And so, uh, yeah, this week has been a little bit chaotic. Right now, we're experiencing a bit of a windstorm. So if you hear in the background, well, that's what it is. It's not uh, any other weird howling. <laughs> it's just the wind. Whereas hopefully it's going to die down because we do have plans to go to the zoo tomorrow with uh, Nelson's cousin. So that'll be lots of fun. If you were on waiting for me a little bit earlier, I do apologize. Hi, Pam. I do apologize because I had was actually streaming, but on unlisted mode, <laughs> which means no one could really see it. Uh, so then I had to cancel that one. Oh, sometimes I'm just silly. This week has been absolutely insane. Like I feel like I blinked and this week was gone. Came back on Tuesday, did the live on Wednesday. And so I guess that's why it feels like the pace of the week went by really, really quick. Hi, Linda. How are you? Welcome to tonight's live stream. Is this your first time joining us, Linda? I don't recognize your name from in the chat, but I'm also really bad with names. But anyways, welcome to tonight's live stream. Um, wait, or Linda as in school, Linda? <laughs> so yeah, I have a lot of good things. Hi, Lisa. Welcome to tonight's live stream, darling. Um, I'm excited to go through everything. I did promise. Oh, thank you so much. That's so kind. So I also know another Linda I, that I actually just met like two, three weeks ago. I kind of introduced myself to her and um, she calls me Jess. And I was like, oh, okay, cool. <laughs> so anyways, welcome to tonight's live stream. Love. Um, I am excited about tonight's live stream, but I did promise a quick update on grandma. So for those who do not know and haven't been following the, the, the journey, oh, I love Vancouver. I haven't been to Vancouver since I was like 16 or 17, but I just remembered how much I loved it. They're so beautiful. Um, hopefully I, sh I should go back one day because I do have family out there. I have an auntie out there and an uncle. And I don't know if my cousins are still out there, but I have an aunt and an uncle and a grand uncle out there. Yeah. So I should definitely should go. Mm. Um, so grandma, 99 years old grandma, she fell, broke her hip a few weeks ago. She made it through surgery, thank God. Um, but she was depressed. So we went, visited her, and oh my gosh, guys, I'm telling you, it was the most beautiful, emotional, bittersweet visit, short visit ever. But it was so incredibly worth it because of the moment when my grandma saw the babies. Well, not really babies anymore, but my babies, and they'll always be my babies. And she was just so happy. She just kept saying, my heart is so happy. My heart is so happy. And that made the entire chaotic organization of everybody's schedule for all of us to get down there so, so, so worth it. And she ate that day. She and with the day we left, she was cooperating with our physiotherapist. So it was a lot of really, really great things. So I'm incredibly happy, incredibly grateful for for the fact that everybody was able to take time off. Um, unfortunately, my brother wasn't able to go, but. I think he did say that he's planning on going again. Uh, well, not again, but he's going to be going in um, July. I think it's what he said. So I am just so grateful and I'm so happy. And I was I cried literally every single day. And it was so bad because Grandpa thought I was so sad, but I was actually I was crying because I was so happy. 
but I can't really explain it to her as well because she's also kind of deaf. So I was just like, oh no, I'm just so happy, right? Also, of course, the last day I was sad to leave her, but we do have plans to go back in about six weeks or so to go visit her again. Um, and then maybe visit the East Coast. I don't know, has anybody here ever been to the East Coast? Like PEI, New Brunswick, Nova Scotia, Newfoundland. I want to go, but I'm concerned about the drive. Hello, Connie, welcome to tonight's live stream. Um, but yeah, it was definitely really heart touching. It was just, it was just, it was a moment that if I didn't go, I know I would have regretted it for the rest of my life. We'll just say that. Yeah, so I'm really happy to get done. So that is update on grandma. She's doing better. Oh yeah, yeah. And, oh, oh my gosh. And guys, she, the pictures, because remember how I was telling you that I was, I, I scanned, and I didn't scan, but I printed pictures from Momra. We put, the night before we put them on the little albums and stuff. She was just so over the moon elated with those pictures she just kept taking them and kissing the kids she just kept grabbing the pictures and just kissing the kids it was just so sweet oh my gosh so sweet so sweet i think i might have caught a couple of them i think some of the, ex the expenses she has this like one that's like like oh what is that she has like this super shocked face it was just so amazing yeah cavendish beach in pei all right i've never been to pei I've been to Nova Scotia, but I've never been to PEI. Uh, I'll, I'll, we'll see if we can make it work. We'll check it out. Or my girlfriend actually recommended for us to maybe just hit one of the provinces, go to New Brunswick, stay at St. Andrews by the Sea. And she says there's a beautiful resort there. She's going to check that out too. So we will see. But if you have suggestions of what to visit in the East Coast with a dog and two young kids and possibly two cousins who will not be as interested in things that little kids do, let me know. St. Andrew's beautiful? Oh, okay, 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 okay. So now you're the second person who's told me that. I really want to go. I really want to do a little trip. I think it'll be so much fun, so much fun. All right, personal haul time. Let's get into this. You guys are, uh, let me, also leave a comment. What are you guys drinking tonight? I have some coffee with milk, quite good. All right, so first things first, we I have a list of stuff I wanted to share with you that Ginevra has now completely finished her Jeju Aloe Ice Cream. <laughs> Whenever I say ice cream, ice gel, anyways, I always say it funny. It always makes me think of ice cream itself. Um, and it's sparkling water with grape juice. Oh, fancy, fancy, sounds nice. So she did end up finishing her entire container. We actually just finished it today. So it's almost time for a new empties video. And so I got one of these beautiful smackaroos for her. She was actually extremely excited. It worked out perfectly because last campaign, I think it was campaign 13, that these were on super sale. So I got two of them for her. Um, this is moisturizing, soothing, and cooling. Love it for the summer because after she was out in the sun, for example, today, she was a little bit pink. And so I just slept some of this on her after her shower she felt so refreshed this is the one the same formula that's also in our sheet mask for our face and so what you can do is you can actually put a thicker layer of this on your face and I have a massage and just pretty much just massage it and leave it like an overnight mask you could always do that and it's actually probably a little bit more budget friendly if you're looking for a way to do a soothing comfortable face mask now if you spent too much time in the sun got a bit of a burn stick this in the fridge for 10 to 15 minutes before applying and it's going to feel so incredibly good or leave it in your beauty fridge if you have one I think beauty fridges don't run quite as cold as regular fridges so this will also be good. Chamomile tea, yum. Are you drinking a hot or are you drinking a cold, Lisa? Uh, now the scent of this is a green floral cucumber like fragrance and yes I do agree with that it has a really nice fresh scent to it with it just like a little hint of floral but it's that freshness that you get from it that smells really 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 nice it is a vegan formula so therefore great for anybody who is looking for that vegan um uh, well a vegan product and also it's free from parabens tar, tar colorants mineral oil and Benzophenons 3. Benzophenons 3. I, I can't even do this because I can't type it in during live stream, which is unfortunate. Anyways, that's this. Ginevra loves this. I'm really happy to get another one. Let me show you the texture of it. So, ta -da, ta -da, ta -da. oh yeah. 
it's not just so satisfying. Yeah, it just has this like really, really nice scent to it. And it's very, very, very light. So like you can see the texture of it, it pretty much just like melts right into your skin. Like that. It's just, it has like a really nice feel. Ugh, it's lovely. Oh, it's so hydrating, so moisturizing. I'm gonna put some on my neck because it is hot. You know what? I, can I probably should keep one in here because during the live streams, I'm always hot. Or I should keep one of the cooling mists. So anyways, number one, done. That is that. Um, and actually, it's called Jeju because the aloe is extracted from the, um, the Jeju Islands, which is known for extra fertile soil because of the vol volcanoes or something like that. So yeah. It's, it's good stuff is what I'm saying. It's good stuff. Next, my lovely beauties, I have the Elastin Propriothera hair mask. Yes, I did end up getting this. So the last hair mask that I did try was this one, which was the treatment cap. Loved this. Was by far as of right now, this is the best hair mask I have ever used. And that includes the red one, the Restore. I can't remember what it's called right now. The Restore one from Avon. This is the best hair mask I've ever used. So I'm really interested in seeing how it's going to compare to this one here. I'm wondering if it's a very similar formula and just in a different delivery method. Um, and if that's the case, then probably budget-wise, this I might actually be a better one. But I have to try it out first in order to know. I'm not going to do it tonight, but I did want to show you that I did get it at the... Um, at the uh, recommendation of Pam, because I remember you saying that you really love this one. Also, Svetlana really loved this one. Uh, the other question was, which one do I prefer out of the three, the cap, this one, and the pool, uh, the pool party one? 100% this one over pool party. I've been testing out the pool party one again. And as soon as I put it into, like I was testing out on Ginevra's hair uh, when I was giving her a shower. So as soon as I put it in, it's not as thick. So it doesn't, I don't feel like it really coats the hair enough when I'm applying it. And so I, I really like it when it feels really luscious on. And although it is a really nice hair mask, if I'm gonna do a comparison for my personal hair because of my texture, this one 100% takes a win. And maybe this one next, so we'll see. Drinking it hot, soothing, helps me sleep. Oh, that's good, that's good. Because Oh yeah, because you also don't like that. Have you ever put rosebuds in it and goatsy berries? Because goatsy berries are really good for your eyes. And then rosebuds I heard also helps to soothe you as well. I remember when when my dog um, Bobo, you guys, you guys, I've never talked about Bobo on this channel, but Bobo was my little rescue Maltese, and uh, he he passed away at my dance studio soon after I opened it. But I was so upset I couldn't sleep. I was having I couldn't sleep for days, and so my across the road neighbor recommended chamomile, rosehip, and um, goldsy berries, and I passed out that night. It was the best sleep I had for you know like weeks at that point, um, because I mean, leading up to Bobo's death, we, I could tell he was gonna pass soon, so I was just really stressed out. Anyways, yeah, but that sounds delicious, super delicious. Rose hip is a high in vitamin C. Ooh, I did not know that. Pam, you're, you're just like so full of knowledge. I love it, I absolutely love it. So this is the second product that I did get, and apparently you only need to use a quarter size amount. I will do a full video on this, it's coming soon ish as soon as i can get it going guys to be honest with you i'm trying but we'll go from there so that's number two don't worry i will be doing a product experiment so make sure you do stay for the entire live stream today uh yeah because there's i have an experiment mm -hmm. all right next up what we have are we have two boosters here so i didn't buy both of these this one came free with my last order this one came free with another order for something else and i've just been putting it off because i was using a bunch of other skincare products so what these are these are boosters so what i believe what the order for this is after you cleanse your face you use your toner I would say use your ampule and then use your boosters before using any serums and then of course your moisturizers. Now these boosters, I was actually I was actually really excited to get this one for free. 
um, because this is supposed to also help with acne. This is the uh, Clinical Booster Pore Perfector. So it's supposed to, according to our fast facts on our website, what it's supposed to do is supposed to help to visibly reduce the pores, but also hydrate your skin. But also I read something here that it helps to do, do, do um, it has the salicylic acid in it. And so it helps to dissolve skin debris that clogs pores and causes acne. Now, if you look at my face, <sighs> they're coming back i finished my antibiotics and for a while i was like yes great awesome awesome you know skin is staying clear no issues i think i finished my 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 antibiotics for that infection that i had for about a month now but then stress happened and then this happened and then just a little bit here nothing ridiculous like what it was but i'm so scared that it's gonna get worse so i was like okay let's be proactive about this and try this out now i have my current skincare line that i've been doing in regards to serums is during the day i have been using the moisturizing balm the niacinamide 10 percent one from the belief line this is great you can see that i'm just about finished the entire bottle of it and I love this. I find it very soothing. It helped with my 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 sore spot on my nose when I had it when I first got these glasses around Christmas, I think it was, or before. Uh, and so I, I fell in love with this product at that time. But at night, I've been using the Bacuccio Serum. Now, this serum, it is a beautiful serum. It is quite thick, so I don't even need the whole squish of it like this. I literally just do a couple of drops like so, and then I massage it into my skin. I feel that this one is thick thicker than my other serums but it does feel so luxurious now why i've been changing it up instead of using this both day and night is because it's gotten hotter and so when it gets when you know when the weather changes i like something a little bit lighter on my face so during the day i much prefer a lighter serum so this texture wise i find lighter than this one and so that's why i switched back to this one plus i can finish up using the product all good stuff the other thing that i do really enjoy about this particular serum the bakucha one it doesn't make your skin photosensitive however you do still need to wear sunscreen every single day it is so important to wear sunscreen every single day and we did that experiment a few lives ago where you can actually um, apply sunscreen on top of your makeup which is great. I'm going to the zoo tomorrow. I will be bringing my SPF to apply it, even though I have makeup on. Hello, everybody who's just joining us tonight. We'll leave a highly, but hey, let us know where you're cut, where you're watching from. Um, and yeah, we're kind of like a quarter of the way through tonight's product haul already. But anyways, yeah. So almost done this. Therefore, need something new. Trying this out, but still loving this at night. That is too long. Didn't read type of a thing and so yeah i am i'm interested in trying this i think 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 i did read somewhere that you can use both boosters um reps on here if you've done the training do you remember them saying that that we can use more than one booster at once if not i'm I'll probably just you know reach out to one of our fsts and double check with that but for sure i am most interested in this one here the moisture uh, the microbiome balance one the moisture lock is another one that we have in the booster line that I have it, but I'm not going to use it right now. Probably wait if I need it. If I end up liking this line, I'll probably try it when it gets a little bit colder again and my skin tends to dehydrate a little bit more. But what this one does, it helps to restore your skin's natural pH um, in, according, to, to, according to the fast fact in two hours. So which is, um, you know, it helps to promote a healthy microbiome, which is the protective layer of microflora that lives on top of your skin to keep your skin healthy and thriving. Someone mentioned maybe on different areas of the face. Perhaps, perhaps, yeah, maybe it is for different areas of the face. I'll double check first though. I am going to use this one first um, before this one. So we'll see. But I still have probably three to four days worth of this one. Yeah. So we'll see. We'll see. And they'll give them more than enough time, hopefully, to answer me. <laughs> We'll find out. So yeah, I'm excited to try that. If you have any testimonials on this, please do let me know. Leave a comment what your thoughts are, and um, I'll love to. I love to read them. And for everybody who's already given a thumbs up on this video, thank you so very, very, very much. I really do appreciate love. Helps this channel out a lot. And if you're new here, you haven't subscribed yet, make sure you do subscribe to this channel because I go live every single week, sometimes twice a week, like I did this week. Plus, I have uh, full-length edited videos usually once a week. <laughs>
<laughs> you never want to miss one of those. Alrighty, Ruth. So next thing that we're going to share with you that I got, guys, is this. When you see this box, you know it's not beauty. It is home decor. So this is a set of three mirrors. Let's open this up. I have been eyeing these for a while because they are so cool looking. I think they came out in the spring catalog. Oh, by the way, the versatile hangers are coming back. Do you guys know which one I'm talking about? It's the space saving ones. You know, let me just grab it. I'll be right back. I'm a, it's still in the office. This one here, this one. So you can, what you can do is you can flip it over, you can hang your clothes on it, and then to save space when you put it into your closet, you just flip it over the other way. Oops, sorry. That was a bad time of it. But it worked when I did it earlier. Um, well, not earlier, but when I did it, when I first tried it out. Also, this is a very slinky top, so it doesn't stay on very well. Okay, there. But then when you hang it, it saves so much space in your closet. This is great for like those super light tank tops and stuff. Yeah, and if it's not in use, I think these can snap down, like, like this one here. Yeah, I think it can snap down. I'm a little bit scared though right now. Oh, wait, wait, wait. There we go. There we go. There are buttons. There are buttons here. Ta-da! So this is coming back uh, if you're in Canada, so you'll be able to see that. But just think of how much space you can save just by you using a couple of those in your closet. That's so exciting. So anyways, this I have been eyeing for a while. And I'm going to open it up for you now. It was in a wrap only flyer and I saw it. I'm like, ooh, it's a good price. Do I want it? I think I do. Because downstairs in my powder room, I used to have three little hooks there. So now that I'm thinking about it. But I had three hooks there before I renovated the powder room. And it's perfect for three little mirrors. However, now that I'm thinking about it, the three <laughs> hooks are right in front of the toilet. So you'd literally be washing, watching yourself sit on the body. <laughs> so then again, maybe not. <laughs> we will see. Anyways, they are, ooh, ooh, oh, they're bigger than I thought. They're nice. <gasps> OMG, look at this. Oh, you gotta see my mess. Hello. It's kind of like Inception. There, look at that. Look at that. Look at that. So this is one. And then... I'm in love with it. Oh my goodness. It's bigger than I thought. Here's a second size. Oh, that's so cool. That is so cool. Yes, yes, yes. Are you ready for the third one? Oh my god. Oh yes, oh yes, oh yes, oh yes. And here's the third one. Oh, these are beautiful. So it's a set of three. I know they're gonna be coming out into the outlet flyer, so on the TS flyer. Oh, it's not the outlet, the goodbye flyer. So look at that, it's so nice. I have no better way to show you. I don't want it banging too much either. But yeah, good catch, good catch, mama. But anyways, here's one, here's two, and here's three. They're actually bigger than I thought. Oh, I really love it. Oh, they're so nice. They're such a great size. <gasps> Different, yeah, yeah. Thanks, Lisa. No, I really like it. I just gotta think of where to put it. Whoa. I can't even put them over there, because they might, like, over on my walls over here, because they're kind of bare. Or maybe I'll put it in my room. Or when I redo my closet. Oh, I'm super in love with them. Yeah, I'll let you know. I'll let you know. I also have to, I have to, I have to get Nelson to be okay with it too. He's so picky. Seriously, Nelson is super picky. And there's nothing wrong with it, but he's really, 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 really opinionated about the things that we get. Which is a good thing. Um, yeah, but I really like them. They're really nice. They're a lot bigger than I thought. Uh, yeah, you just hang it, clean it with wet cloth, wipe the surface with a dry cloth, uh, indoor use only. So I can't use it outside on, on the porch or anything, which is fine. Absolutely fine. I wouldn't want to hang it on my porch either because of our, our, the crazy wind storms. So that's the way it. All right. So next, 
let's get into the liner. So I have been ranting and raving about how much I have been in love with this liner lately. This is the FMG Glimmer Waterproof Eyeliner in Seafoam Green. I really like it because even the excellent shopper, be grateful he has such great deals. That is true. He does get incredibly good deals, like super great deals. So I do, I do need to be grateful. Um, and you know what? The fact that he cares is already saying something too. Like the fact that he cares to have an opinion about it and how he wants the house to look is great. Like, love my dad, but my dad was like, whatever you want, Ugh, whatever you want. But I love it when, when I can get either, you know, somebody else's opinion about something because then I know that, hmm, am I on the same wavelength? Is it different? Maybe I'm seeing something a little bit on the weird side because I have a weird brain. So yeah, the fact that he does, he, <laughs> he is opinionated is not a bad thing. Um, so this liner is really lovely. It's a super creamy finish. I have been using this a lot. I'm going to do some swatches for you. Okay, so it's a very, very easy glide on, super easy glide on. And it's just, it lasts for a really long time. Now, how I've been wearing this is, I've been wearing this with, if I don't want it to be so bright, I'll pair it with a little bit of black liner and it just kind of tones it down a bit. So what I would do is I would do the green on the top part and the black underneath. And I'll just do a little bit of the green just for my tear duct to about here. And it's such a pretty look. I don't even do it now if I want to show you. But it's such a pretty look. I'm also a little bit greasy and sweaty right now. But I would just do something like that. It just kind of gives a pop of color. It is so, 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 so very pretty. And it doesn't really like, tug or anything. It feels... It just glides on super well. I can't really see because I don't have my glasses on. And so I'm doing a really bad job actually doing the liner right now. But anyways, you guys know what I mean. So I, I was thinking, you know what? I want to try it in the blue because I'm hopefully hoping that it will get like the same sort of brightness. And it'll be really, really, really fun. So I got this. So this one here is called Blue Skies. It's also the waterproof line, which is great because that way if you do get extra sweaty in the summer, um, it'll stay on. Right, so here is the back part of it. Let's open it up. Ooh, okay. Let's do a swatch. Okay, okay. So the blue has a little bit of a shimmer to it too my face in order for it to be there we go it i don't know if it, it doesn't quite look quite as shimmery as the green i'm just gonna do a little bit more on it so that we can get a bigger swatch but it is super creamy it is super creamy it's bright it's gonna be bright let me get a mirror so i don't poke my eye while I'm trying to do this and let's see how it looks on my face shall we So I don't have any eyeshadow on at all today. I don't have anything on my on my eyes today. Ooh, 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 wow. <gasps> oh, that's so nice. But I don't have any like primer or anything on my face. So if I want this to stand out even more, you can add a little primer. Whoa, that is color. Hello, hello. Whoa. Oh, I love it. I read ridiculously love it wow look at that pop of color shazam and that's without any primer guys look how bright that is whoa look at you ask them on this side i think i'm just like really sweaty on this side or something today Wow, I, 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 <gasps> it's so nice. Oh, it's, it's nice, guys. It is a stunning pop of color. Wow, that's gorgeous. Okay, so that's Blue Skies. It's definitely a winner, definitely a winner. 
Yeah, I, I do notice that, you know, like blues and purples tend to tend to look nice on my eyes. Um, I'm trying to get into the pinky colors and the orangey colors. And even green was a bit of a stretch for me. But I was like, I love the seafoam green. I just love it. But this blue is redonkulously gorgeous. Let's see what it looks like behind my glasses. Oh, yeah. Yeah, like even from here, I can see it. Yeah. Oh, I really love it. It is beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. And just see how easy that went on. It's just such an easy glide on. And that's one thing I really love about these ones is that it goes on so easily. Ridiculously easy. So winner, definitely winner. All right. Next thing, since we're doing things on my face, let's talk about this. Great weather, bright baby blue. Your girlfriend's to 86. You know what? Honestly, like... 70s and 80s and even some 90s fashion is really making a comeback. I think it's because we're trying to think back to when things were a lot calmer and happier and we're just kind of reminiscing. It's so all those styles like roller skates, not roller blades, but roller skates are back, right? Bell bottoms. I, I used to have these gorgeous flare bell bottom jeans. Not that they would fit my hips right now, but they're back right? All those fashions and styles are just making a huge comeback. And um, it's so exciting. Or like the straight leg jeans, although I'm not a big fan of that personally, but um, but yeah, it's just a lot of the, the style is definitely coming back. Thank you so much, Lisa. Yeah, I really love it. It's just such a pretty color. Really, 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 really nice. All right. So now we're moving on to this. <laughs> right, right, right. <laughs> 70s, 80s, and 90s are all back. They really, really are. I, I'm hoping that like 90s style music and early 2000s music will also make a comeback because a lot of that stuff is so good. I don't understand a lot of the music nowadays. Oh my gosh. I honestly don't. <laughs> so now we're going to talk about the a new vitamin C illuminating priming moisturizer. Funny thing is, this has been out for at least a year now, I think, and I still haven't tried it yet. What's holding me back is that with certain vitamin C products, I have a bit of a reaction to it. Nothing horrible. Black box in La Bouche. La Bouche. Is that La Bouche? Is la da 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 Is that La Bouche? We had a couple years to Oh my gosh. <laughs> Ginevra is so funny right now. <laughs> so yesterday she went to me and said, like, Mommy, we're having a Mimi contest. I was like, what? What's a Mimi contest? And then she was like, you know, M-E-M-E. -E. I'm like, oh, a meme. <laughs> so she's going through this really, really interesting phase of her life right now where it's like some things I get, some things I don't get, some things she gets, some things she doesn't get. But I'm sure in time, like you said, Pam, she will start explaining things to me and why. Th like I ask her sometimes, why is this cool? Because she's like, oh, that's so cool. I'm like, what is cool and why is this cool? She's like, I don't know. So I'm excited to see what she'll say when uh, when she figures out the words. That'll be exciting. All right, so this here, I haven't tried this because with certain vitamin C products, I do have a bit of a reaction to. <laughs> I know a baby because I laughed. That's when I laughed so hard. Um, this one, I, I haven't tried this one, so I don't know if I'll have a reaction to this. And it's not immediate. It's like after a few uses. But for example, the under eye, vitamin C. I can't use that even though it's a beautiful product, but I personally couldn't use it. And But the lip products I can use completely. So meh, I don't know why. This one is supposed to be hyperallergenic, dermatologist tested, and also suitable for sensitive skin. It is free from fragrances, so maybe I'll be okay with this. So we're going to give this one a try. It's supposed to be a prime and glow, so you can wear it under makeup to create the perfect canvas, or um, you can wear it alone as just like a dewy skin. So we're going to try it alone today. So this has vitamin C and niacinamide, which is vitamin B3. As you can tell, it's not open, so I need to open from the inside. Helps to blur imperfections and create, like I say, a smooth canvas. Um, so I guess so your skin doesn't seem so pory. Yeah, I don't really smell anything. So this is the item itself. So I was half expecting it to be orange because of vitamin C, but that's just me. Yeah, I don't smell anything. Yeah, no, I don't smell anything at all, which is great. Uh, 
let's see what else so 94 they say 94 percent of women showed an improvement in your skin's overall appearance so i have a lot of stuff on this hand right now i have the bucuccio and i now have this so on first touch it's very 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 silky has a really nice texture it feels very smooth and actually hydrated so it also has um uh it still has to have brighten as well and has antioxidant benefits now so all you have to do is you apply it to in the morning only and it like i said it could be worn with or without makeup so we're going to apply it to half of my face i'm just going to use my my fingers to see what's going on hello everyone who's just joined us yes i have two different color eye makeup on <laughs> Did I? but leave a hi all right so here we go my cheeks are super red right now because i am warm and i am excited so going on it feels like a face lotion so it doesn't feel thick like some primers sometimes can feel a little bit thicker like our match i think it's called match primer now that can sometimes feel a little bit thick on, on, on my mind but it makes your skin feel like a baby's butt it's so makes your skin, skin feel so super soft this one i'm feeling a bit of a cooling effect for some reason and so i'm just gonna put it on half of my face and we're gonna see if i notice anything here so da, da, i'm gonna turn on this light as well what do you guys think? Well, let's put on some makeup and see. Put on some uh, liquid, liquid, uh, liquid foundation. So this is the match tint, well, Magix tint rather, tinted moisturizer and brightening. Um, it's, uh, it's too dark. I'm letting you know ahead of time. I ordered it and it's too dark. So I know that it doesn't match my face. Yeah. Oh, interesting. Okay. So there's that. And there's that. I'm just going to use my finger. <laughs> So dark and a bit orangey on me. Okay, so what I do notice right away with the primer, it feels like I'm getting a smoother application of it on the side that does not have the primer. It feels like my skin is thirstier. Like it feels like it's like sucking in the products a little bit more when I'm putting it on. So like what I want to do this, it doesn't feel as it feels more tuggy as opposed to this side. It doesn't feel quite as like, it just feels a bit smoother. So I do notice that as for the pores, pores to me look about the same. However, I mean, it could be one of those things I also need to see in natural daylight. Natural daylight, honestly, is the best way to test out to, um, how a product is working. I like to do it right in front of my, my window, either up here or downstairs where I'm surrounded with windows. And yeah, but all right away I do feel the difference with how moisturized my skin feels and how the product is laying on in the terms of this side just feels like it was like smoother to put on as opposed to this side it felt like it's like sucking that bit in yeah ah dropping stuff yeah that's what I'm noticing it actually, you know what, it might look up. It's also applied a little bit more even on this side too. See how this side is a little bit blotchier? Like there's like a little bit darker spots, a little bit lighter spots. And I did apply the first part right here. I was supposed to this side, it fit to like, mm. well, right here I didn't put anything, but yeah, it feels like it kind of applied a little bit more even in my perspective anyways. So, I mean, if you are looking for a primer, <laughs> Look so brown right now if you are looking for a primer that also has vitamin c in it and is an extra layer of moisturizer try this baby out all right so that's that and this was a free product from avon so thank you avon for sending me this i really do appreciate it always love trying stuff so thank you avon now let me clean off my hands i now have a towel around me all the time because i try so many things out and i need to make sure i have clean hands before i touch stuff Oh, look at that. It's shiny. It's shimmery. Ooh. All right, I'm going to turn off my ring light, though, for now. Next, 
product here is the other free product that I got from Avon, which is this. Now we got this because we increased our sales for one campaign compared to last prior year. So thank you all my clients, thank you for always supporting my small business. This is the a new Hydrofusion, Hydrofusion, Fusion, Hydrofusion Depuffing Serum. So this is formulated with hyaluronic acid, caffeine, and raspberry antioxidants. And this is an eye serum. So it's not an eye lotion or an eye cream. It is an eye serum. I do have one, like I said, that I have open. So I'm going to be demoing it with this one here so that I don't end up opening this one since I still have this one. I can save this for a later date. So what I really like about this one, because this is definitely not a first impression. I have used this before is that it has a ceramic tip and this ceramic tip is so nice because it's nice and cool it feels so good under your eyes and the the serum itself is super light it is so light it's clear serum and it just feels so nice going on it is an oil-free serum it is a vegan formula hypoallergenic dermatologist tested and it's also says uh, suitable for sensitive skin. What I did learn about this is that um, because it is a serum, if you uh, are looking for more moisturization, you can use this and then your regular moisturizer on top of it afterwards this only goes under your eyes because it helps the baggies and um you can even use this during the day as a kind of like a midday refresher so when i read that it could be a midday refresher i was like interesting but what if i have concealer on will it make my concealer move so i figured you know what that's gonna be our experiment for this one what we're gonna do is we're gonna do one eye width and then one eye with concealer on. I'm going to let it dry, put on the new pants that I've got to show you guys. By then, my my conceal, did I say? Yeah, concealer would have set. And then we're gonna to try to apply this and see if it makes the concealer move. Does that sound like a good idea? I think so. So let's try this out. First, I'm going to do it on um, both sides first actually you know what because I would have already had it on this honestly guys it feels so nice and cool it feels so incredibly good so you just put a little bit here and you kind of dabby dab dab like I had concealer on earlier but I went for an insane bike ride I went to pick up Ginevra as a bike ride after school for a bike ride today and so we're pulling the kids in a trolley behind us up a hill I almost made it all the way up the hill. Not quite, but almost. This blue, guys, oh my gosh, I keep staring at my left eye because I am so in love with this blue. I am definitely wearing this tomorrow. It is redonkulously stunning. Oh, I love it. Okay, so anyways, going back to this depuffer, it's um, you just tap it in with a ceramic tip and then if you are going to use a lotion or anything after it, I would suggest let it dry. Let it dry before applying anything else so you don't end up moving the product. Yeah, and so I'm just going to let that dry. And then on one side, I'm just going to put a little bit of concealer on like I would normally do. I'm not going to lay it on uh, because that's not how I normally would, would do concealer anyways. So I'm going to lay it on. No, I'm not going to lay it on. I'm going to apply a little bit. And then we're going to do a fashion show with the pants. And we're going to try to see if I can style it. Is it dry? Almost dry. Almost there. Almost there. Almost there. Anybody ever use this? It's a really nice product. It feels really good. It's it's just it's like one of those products that you you just put on and just feels nice. It has like this refreshing feeling to it. Um, and hyaluronic acid is one of those ingredients that holds up to a thousand times its own weight in water. So it's like, gives you that burst of hydration. Uh, I know our serum is one of those really popular ones. Okay, there we go. So I'm not going to put any eye cream on it for now. I'm just going to put on a bit of concealer. We should do my left eye. Okay, so that's how I normally do my concealer. And then I'm going to dab. Now, I also know that this concealer is a little bit light for me, but it's that way that we can kind of see it if it doesn't move. There. Okay. So this is what the concealer looks like. I would have right now. Sorry, I'm very up and close and personal today, guys. But that way you can get a really good look at it. 
hope you don't give don't give you guys nightmares but anyways so that's it i love this concealer by the way guys this is like my favorite formula for under eye concealer it's so nice it's so lightweight oh love this one i've bought four of them now three of them in different shades but i really love it all right so let's get to the pants then we'll go back to the face so we still got a little bit of stuff to do let's have a sip first cheers to you guys i love you guys so very very much Mm. Nelson's out playing badminton tonight with my physiotherapist. Well, our physiotherapist. They're badminton bros. It's quite cute, their bromance. <coughs> All right, so this I'm excited and nervous about. Um, this is the pull-on sand striped 7 8 pants, which I believe is the length-ish of it. The material already feels really, really nice. It has some stretch. Look how cute. Oh, wow. They're like super stretchy. Look how cute they are, guys. Now, why I'm nervous about this is I don't think I've ever worn striped pants. I've worn neon polka dot pants. I don't think I've ever worn striped pants unless it was a... No, I don't even think for a dance, a dance um, costume. So funny thing is, I just happened to notice I am also wearing my Avon Skechers pants that I had on last time. This couch is really handy to show you guys stuff because I am very short. Anyways, so I have all the Skechers pants, but these are brand new to Avon. This is from a collection I've never heard of. At first when I ordered it, I thought it was from the Studio 1886 line, but it's actually a, a, a line called Gigi, the Gigi collection. I haven't heard of them personally, um, but, I mean, so far the quality feels really good. It's a fairly thick material. Uh, it has two little front pockets here, which is really nice. And it's super duper stretchy. I did read that they are uh, machine washable, which is great. You should line dry these though. And uh, the material is 61% rayon, 21% nylon, 15% linen, and 3% spandex. So lengthwise, they're either super high waisted or they're long. For me but i'm also quite short so here's the crotch light it's gonna kind of go up to here on me so i'm just gonna step over that be right back okay Ugh. all right Ugh. couldn't get my pants off okay uh, double check like did i close oh these feel so nice oh Oh, they come on so well. They're definitely a looser fit. <laughs> they're a looser fit than, um... oh, they're cute. They're a looser fit than the Skechers for sure. Okay, I'm gonna jump on here. They, what do you guys think? What do you think? They're kind of high, they're actually like more high-waisted than I expected, but oh, they're cute. Okay, I'm gonna try to see. I'm trying different things. Love everything Gigi that you bought from Avon. I, you know, I never paid attention to the Gigi collection, like the name Gigi. So I'm gonna have to check it out more. This is super comfy, like super duper comfy. Hi everybody who's just joined us. What do you guys think though? Okay, so there's like this band here. It's nice and wide, so it doesn't like dig in, which is nice. I got it in a medium and it is a very comfortable fit in a medium. For the sketches, I find that the mediums are a little bit tight. Like, they feel like a big hug, I'll say that. But these are a generous fit. So they are super duper cute. The other thing I really like about them is, I don't know how to show you, but here, there's a little slit on the ankle. It is super duper cute. These would look so cute with heels. Now on me, I'm five and a half of an inch. They go just past my my heels. So for um, a notch. Oh, cool. That's what it's called. Okay. Um, they would be the, um, they would look so cute with little heels or little platforms, I think. What did Lisa say? What did you guys say? So cute, you love them. They're really comfortable. High waisted, but low waist really bugs me physically. I can't do the super low waist. Like I remember in high school, my girlfriends were like wearing like pants down to here. I couldn't do it. Like the lowest I could go is about an inch below the belly button. Okay, we're gonna try this with something else. So I'm going to try to look professional. This is actually a, oh, 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 look at 
at me looking so pro. <gasps> what do you guys think? Except for these little thingies here. Okay, I'm gonna hide these. There we go, there we go. I will never, ever, ever be a fashion <laughs> YouTuber because I don't know what I'm doing. But oh my gosh, look at me. Hello, working mama. Huh. Huh. I look so pro except for this. But that's okay, imagine these are not there. Oh, this is cute. Oh my gosh, I think I love these guys. <gasps> How does my butt look? Weird question to ask, I'm sorry. But yes, how does my butt look? It fits quite well. And they're so comfy, like look at, I can lift my legs up if I wanted to. That's awesome. Wow, these are so comfortable. Yeah, I am in love with these, a lot. Oh, I'm trying with a different shirt, upper back. It's super cute. I'll try it with a white linen shirt. Well, this is like my favorite. Actually, it might be a little bit see-through, just FYI, because uh, it's I have a darker bra on today. But um, this is like one of my favorite button-down shirts. I got it from H and M or Forever Twenty One, one or the other. I ridiculously love this. <gasps> I brought things to try different stuff with it. Belt? No belt? 90 suit is back. <laughs> I love suits. Like that's one thing I miss about working events and working in the field is I love I love Dressing up, business cat, like business dressing. I just think it's so sexy. Although, mind you, I also don't mind the, uh, you know, roll out of my bed and go straight to work look either. What do you think? I don't know about the belt. I think the belt emphasizes my tummy a little bit too much. But these pants are so nice. I think I got this belt from Maybach too. Okay, so now I have to earn the next Avon trip so I, can, I have a reason to wear these pants. Wow, I never thought I would like striped pants. That's insane. Especially light striped pants because like, you know, I'm bottom heavy. Oh, I'm also really sweaty now, but it's so cute. I really like it. I gotta take this off. I'm too hot. I am sweating like crazy. So what do you think? Keep, keep the pants. I think I'm gonna keep the pants. Do you think I should keep the pants? Yeah, they're super good. Like I'm sitting right now and they're not tugging or anything. It feels so good. It feels so good. Okay. Ooh, 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 ooh. Okay, super hot. All right, do you think the the thing I said? Okay, yes. Okay, I'm going back and forth to not a million and five different things. Yeah, I love these pants. I really need a reason to wear them. Lisa, let's go out. <laughs> we need to go out. Okay, so now here is the concealer on. A lightweight tan summer sweater over the waistband would look great. I agree, yeah. I don't have a lightweight tan summer sweater to be honest with you, but I could always get one. Hmm, what company is selling one right now? Okay, so, <laughs> we still have a tea date at Starbucks that we haven't done yet for how many years now? Since Ginevra was a babe? All right, so now I wanna try this just on top and let's see if it moves the concealer at all. I'm also almost done this one. Oh, there we go. Did it move the concealer? Yeah, it did. That's too bad. It took some of the concealer off right away. Yeah, so I don't know about it as a midday thing unless you don't wear any sort of makeup, but it will definitely make your makeup move. Oh, yeah. Yeah, all right, so I mean, Mostly, 
Definitely. Okay. So mostly it was all good stuff. The only thing is that wearing this midday won't work if you're wearing a concealer, powder, under eye makeup, um, unless you don't mind it moving, right? But I mean, for, for every day, sure, why not? Do I have a window in that room? I do, but the only thing I was worried about is that it'll howl and you guys will hear it. That's the only thing I'm worried about. If you don't mind that, I will open up, but we're almost done anyways for the night. Yeah, so that's actually actually pretty much it for the haul, guys. Um, I'm, <laughs> I think the thing I'm most excited about are these pants. I was actually really skeptical about these pants. I didn't think I would like them. They're really, really cute. And there's my boob. Um, yeah, they're really cute, really cute. Super duper cute. I really enjoy them. So I think I'll definitely be keeping them and also be like, hmm, you're wearing stripes on your legs, honey. I'll be like, yes, I am. Yes, I am. Uh, the other thing I'm really excited to be trying, of course, is the hair mask, the eyeliner. Oh my gosh, super in love with it. And I'm excited to be trying out the pore perfecting um, Isanox. Oh, sorry, Isanox? Oh, it is Isanox. Isanox uh, Pore Perfector Booster too. So I'm actually excited about all the things that I've bought. The mirrors are gorgeous. And yeah, if you guys have any questions about this, the products in this haul or about anything else I've ever talked about, please do leave a comment. If you have any special requests on what I should try next, please also let me know. Would you want to know? Um, actually, no. Yeah, I only have, I think I probably do the next video would probably be this because it'll be easy for me to do. Skincare videos, I usually take a lot longer for me to get done just because I do have to test out for a while. Whoa. Oh, oh, oh. There we go. And uh, yeah, so thanks for joining, guys. I hope you had a wonderful time. I always have a wonderful time with you because you guys are amazing and awesome. It's so much fun. I'm wishing you a beautiful weekend. If you are not an Avon representative yet and you're looking to become one or you want to know a little bit more information about it, make sure you do check out my content over at Passions to Paycheck with Jessica Yick, or you can send me an email through the link here. It's in the description box uh if you, about any questions that you may have i'm always here to help uh thank you so much i'm looking forward to going to the zoo tomorrow and uh if you want to see those pictures i'll definitely gonna be posting some up on instagram and facebook as the dancing email lady i love you guys so very 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 much have a wonderful evening and until i see you guys next week stay well stay safe and stay fantastically kind love you guys good night bye